Welcome everyone to GamerMelt. Today I've got tons of next gen NVIDIA info, but starting with the refresh 3800 XT crushing the 3800X, Intel's Tiger Lake CPU does incredibly well, that 3080 design gets confirmed, and tons of RTX 3000 specs leak, along with what's launching. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, AMD's upcoming refresh 3rd gen has once again been spotted in a benchmark. The new benchmark was originally found and shared by RO Game, and it's from Ashes of the Singularity. As far as the processor, it's of the Ryzen 7 3800 XT. Unfortunately, it doesn't give us any clocks, but it definitely seems to do well. We only have one benchmark with the same GPU to compare it to, but as you can see on the CPU side, it actually scored over 34%, which is definitely impressive. I wouldn't expect that kind of difference overall, but this at least shows the potential. Hey, you! Yeah, you! What are you doing? Just watching TV, nothing else to do. Of course there is! Didn't you want to work in computers? Yeah, but that's too hard. Not with Brilliant, it isn't. Ugh. Brilliant is the new tool that makes learning things like computer science fun. See, they don't just teach you what to do, but how to do it through challenges and interactions so anyone can learn. You can also tackle big learning goals by sticking to it and keep things going with daily challenges. So start learning with today's sponsor at brilliant.org slash gamermelt and the first 200 people who visit the link get 20% off the annual premium today. Next up for today, a couple of new benchmarks have surfaced of Intel's upcoming Tiger Lake i7. They were once again found and shared by RO Game, but they're from 3D Mark's benchmark. In them, performance is actually fantastic, but not as great as some outlets are claiming. Most only use the 3D Mark 11 score, which doesn't scale cores very well. With that said, we do have a good comparison on TimeSpy. As you can see, for a 4-core 8-thread CPU, Intel's Tiger Lake part still does very well. Not only that, but the i7 beats AMD's new 4800U in the graphics score, so Intel's next-gen iGPUs are definitely set to get a huge performance boost. Of course, AMD still has Navi up their sleeves since 4th gen mobile only comes with Vega cores. Still, things are definitely going to heat up in the mobile space. Lastly for today, we have a really big report from Igor's lab, who's definitely proven to be a reliable and trustworthy leaker in the past. Anyway, in his new post, Igor's lab explains that not only are the leaked images of the 3080 that I discussed in my last video confirmed, but Nvidia has actually announced an internal investigation into the leak. Specifically, they're investigating Foxconn and Build Your Dreams, who are contracted to build the Founders Edition cards. So yes, this isn't only real, but it is in fact the Founders Edition variant. According to Igor's lab, not even Nvidia's product and sales manager knew about the design yet. Basically, to say this is a fresh leak would be an understatement. Now, with that said, and Igor's lab says it right here as well, but Nvidia could change things last minute to still offer some surprises or try and prove the leak wrong. Let's just say they aren't happy this got out. Either way, the big news doesn't stop there, as Igor's lab stated that industry rumors claim the Founders Edition cooler and housing itself costs a whopping $150. Yeah, let's just say this year's FE variants definitely won't be cheap. Also, according to Igor's lab, NVIDIA is using a special circuit board as well as flexible power supply cables that in fact do lead to the end of the card, so Video Cards was right in their speculation. Finally, and this is definitely big, according to several sources, Igor's lab claims that NVIDIA is planning to launch three cards. All of them are built from the GA102 and come with GDDR6X memory. Not only that, but he shows the SKUs are the RTX 3090, either Super RTI, 3080, either Super RTI, and a regular 3080. The 3090 we have seen in the past, but thought that it replaced the TI model seems to be replacing the Titan card. It comes with 24GB of GDDR6X memory, which is of course the same amount as the current Titan, but with GDDR6X. With that said, it does come with quite a bit higher TDP at 350 watts. Then the 3080 Ti or SuperCard comes with 11GB of GDDR6X, though it seems he isn't sure there. The card comes with a TDP of 320 watts, which Copite 7 Kimmy has recently stated that these will have higher TDPs, so that seems accurate. Lastly is the 3080, which comes with 10GB of GDDR6X and a TDP of 320 watts. 
Basically, while Nvidia's next-gen cards are pretty much guaranteed to be powerful, they also look like they're going to be quite expensive and power-hungry. Hopefully, the performance is enough to justify it. So while that does it for today, are you excited for Nvidia's next-gen RTX 3000 lineup or are you still waiting for Big Navi? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.